Jesus was in the house of Simon the leper in Bethany. Whilst he was eating, a woman came in with an alabaster jar full of a very expensive perfume made of pure nard. She broke the jar and poured the perfume on Jesus' head. Some of the people there became very angry and said to each other, What was the use of wasting the perfume? It could have been sold for more than thirty pounds, and the money given to the poor. And they criticised her harshly. But Jesus said, Leave her alone. Why are you bothering her? She has done a fine and beautiful thing for me. You will always have poor people with you, and any time you want to, you can help them. But I shall not be with you always. She did what she could. She poured perfume on my body to prepare it for burial ahead of time. Now, remember this. Wherever the gospel is preached, all over the world, what she has done will be told in memory of her. Then Judas Iscariot, one of the twelve disciples, went off to the chief priests in order to hand Jesus over to them. They were greatly pleased to hear what he had to say and promised to give him money. So Judas started looking for a good chance to betray, betray Jesus. It's been estimated the jar of nard could have been worth thousands of pounds. What do you think you would have said if you had seen the jar of very expensive perfume being used in this way? Jesus says, sadly, that poverty will always be with us. What hope does Jesus offer all of us who need help? Physically, mentally, financially or spiritually? How could we offer Christian hope? By taking a risk with our time, talents or resources.